Hey, 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 welcome back. So I'm going to be recycling the styrofoam and it's got loose particles. And if you have this same kind of styrofoam, all you need to do is use your spray mount adhesive and spray it all over the styrofoam. And this is going to seal in those uh, particles. Now I'm going to measure it exactly the same size as the shell. And I'm going to use a serrated knife to cut off the uh, extra material. And serrated knife uh, is a lot more ideal in cutting styrofoam because you're going to get a cleaner edge. Okay, now you can also recycle regular styrofoam. Some of them are smooth and soft, like the kind that comes with electronic gadgets and stuff like that. You can definitely recycle those. Okay, and as you can see, you can get a cleaner edge using a serrated knife. Now, if you have a rough edge, which every now and then you will, all you need to do is press down the edge against your countertop, put pressure in it, and then rub it back and forth, and that's going to flatten that, and it'll give you a smooth edge. Okay, next I'm going to make a mold, and I'm using an unsharpened pencil as a guide, and I'm just going to place that on the styrofoam wherever I want it. You can place this anywhere you want, and what you need to do is put uh, some pressure to it. Really, really hard. Push it in. Alright, so that way it's going to indent the um, styrofoam. Just like that. And if it's not clear, just go ahead and repeat it and press harder. Alright, but not hard enough that the styrofoam is going to flatten on you. Alright, but hard enough to get a nice crisp indentation. Just like that. Okay, now using a rounded ball, ball pen cap, I'm going to use the ball pen to press down that indentation. I'm going to press it down about a quarter of an inch and that's going to be enough for the pencil, whether it's eyeliner or lip liner pencil, to uh, sit right in the mold and still have enough room for you to fish it out. And then just smooth out the bottom all right, by using the uh, end tip of a ball, ball pen and then I'm going to use the pencil once again and roll that. Now by rolling it, this is going to smooth out the side walls of that well. Alright, and then make sure that you can easily fish it out, which is perfect. And now I'm going to make a mold for a mascara. I wanted a mascara in this palette. So the same exact procedure. I'm just going to put pressure to make an indentation right on the um, styrofoam. There we go. And then, of course, once again, we're going to use the ball pen and we're going to press that down. But because the mascara is a lot thicker in diameter, I'm going to press it down about half an inch. There you go. And once again, just roll. And that's going to smoothen out the, um, the walls. And make sure that it comes out nicely. There we go. That's gorgeous. So now we're going to make wells for the eyeshadow pants. And I'm using a foreign coin. And this is the same exact size as the uh, eyeshadow pants. And once again, it's the same exact procedure. I'm just going to make indentation. But I'm actually going to push this down with the coin using the pen. Okay, I'm going to push it down about a quarter of an inch. And that's going to cradle the eyeshadow pants nicely. Okay, and make sure that it's nice and flat and even. And when you remove the coin, you'll get a beautiful, beautiful well. So I'm just going to do this throughout the whole remaining um, part of the styrofoam. And then once again, using my spray mount adhesive, I'm just going to spray over that again to seal in the uh, shapes. Okay, now using my third uh, USPS flat rate box, or you can pretty much use any cardboard at this point really, I'm just going to cut off the um, same exact dimension as the styrofoam. And this is going to be my baseboard for the styrofoam. Now all I need to do is glue that to the back of the styrofoam so that it'll act as a baseboard. All right, again, hot melt glue or high melt glue is best. But before I glue them together, I'm going to add a little ribbon and this is going to be the pull tab. For the drawer. So I'm just going to use again the hot glue for that and again high melt glue stick is ideal for this project. Okay and then I'm going to paint the uh, styrofoam pink. So I'm um, mixing red and white and once it's dry it should look like that and I also decorated the edges. Alright and there's the pole tab and the bottom is also decorated with the same exact paper, decorative paper. 
All right, and that's pretty much it. Then your door is done. So make sure you watch the third part, and I'll see you guys soon. Ta-ta for now.